Okay, now let's do the Paniter, La Grande Bellezza, 18 karat nib. Writing sample. This is a fine. He will be the star of the show today. And let's do swirls. This is an 18 karat gold nib. It is a soft nib, therefore it does provide a good amount of line variation. However, it was not designed for that, so I would not recommend doing it. Or rather, I wouldn't recommend relying on it for line variation, because you don't want to accidentally spread the tines and, and burst them the end of the world. You just busted up a $638 pen. All right, now I want to compare it to, this is a uh, pen made in Germany. It is the Pelican M600 Vibrant Green in Extra Fine, and I do believe this is 14K. Yep, it is. Okay, now let's do some swirls. Now, as it is gold, it is softer than the uh, steel nibs that we have on the market. It offers a little bit less line variation, but at the same time, it is ever so slightly finer. Okay, um, as a matter of fact, I retract that statement. It is not finer. It is pretty much identical. The Pelican... M8, M600 Extra Fine is equivalent to the Panaida La Grande Bellezza Fine. Now I want to go to the Edison in comparison. This is an 18 karat gold fine nib. All these pens are inked up with the same ink. It is going to be Noodler's Heart of Darkness. This nib is significantly wetter, and it does have a thicker line. This is a German nib made by Yovo. What else should we do? We shall compare it to the Medici Extra Fine. This is 23 karat palladium. I'm not gonna spell it all out. Swirl time, swirls. It's a much softer nib, gives you greater line variation for sure. It is a softer nib. Palladium being in the same family as platinum, higher melting point than gold. Okay, let me th let me get the. Uh, this is a Sailor, fourteen karat nib. And a fine. Okay, it is a hard fine. It's a much finer line to start off with. Gives you slight line variation. For a gold nib, it is pretty hard. So for a gold nib, I would say the line variation is rather nominal. Lastly, what else can we compare the Panaida La Grande Bellezza to? Let's go with a Parker Sonnet with an 18 karat. Can you see? Yes, you can. Also a fine. Swirls. Now this one is a softer nib, gives you line variation. Again, not designed for that. Don't rely on it for that. Okay. Now, 
let us use the Panida La Grande Bellezza as the standard. And this is the standard, hence the uh, asterisk. I would say that it is equal to the Pelican M600 Extra Fine, but be advised, Pelicans, when it comes to their nibs, sometimes it's hard to determine what is fine, extra fine, medium. Sometimes they're all just a hodgepodge. They're all mixed in. You never know. Life is like a box of Pelican fountain pens. You never know what you're gonna get. Alrighty, now with the Edison, I would say that the Edison has a thicker line, so it is slimmer than the Edison. The Medici, it is definitely much slimmer when it comes to the line width. And the Sailor, it is thicker than the Sailor. And the Parker Sonnet, I would say that it offers more line variation than the Parker Sonnet, but in terms of just line width, it is slightly thicker. Okay, so in terms of si uh, line width, I definitely would say that this is a standard fine European nib. It's very smooth, has a little bit of drag, but nominal feedback. If you're looking for a pen that's nominal with feedback, this is the pen for you. The only caveat is it's going to cost you $638. All right, that's your writing sample for the Panida Le Grand Bellezza that I owe you guys. I do still have a few more that I have to upload. I hope this helps. Be safe, be well.